Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will take a detailed and realistic look at the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, one of the most advanced surface combatants currently serving with the Philippine Navy. This will not be a dramatic or fictionalized story, but a factual overview designed to give you a clear understanding of the ship, its features, and its role at sea. The BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is a guided missile frigate and represents one of the most capable platforms in the Philippine Navy fleet. Named after General Antonio Luna, a national hero known for his discipline and brilliance, the vessel carries both symbolic and practical significance. Its designation as FF-151 indicates its status as a frigate, a ship type that strikes a balance between speed, endurance, and multi-role capability. In terms of design, the BRP Antonio Luna was built with modern naval architecture principles. Its hull form is optimized for stability and efficiency, allowing it to operate effectively in various sea states common in the Philippines' vast maritime domain. The ship is equipped with stealth features such as angled surfaces and radar-absorbing design elements, which reduce its radar cross-section and enhance survivability against potential threats. When it comes to propulsion, the frigate uses a combined diesel or gas system, often referred to as CODOG. This allows the ship to use diesel engines for cruising at efficient speeds and gas turbines when higher speed is required. Such a system ensures flexibility, enabling the ship to patrol economically but also to respond quickly during operations. The maximum speed allows it to keep pace with modern naval forces, while the endurance ensures it can remain at sea for extended periods without frequent refueling. Moving to combat systems, the BRP Antonio Luna is fitted with a range of sensors and weapons that make it a true multi-role platform. Its combat management system integrates data from radar, sonar, and electronic surveillance equipment to create a comprehensive picture of the battle space. This enables the crew to detect, track, and engage threats whether they come from the air, the surface, or beneath the sea. The ship carries surface-to-air missiles for defense against aircraft and incoming threats, as well as surface-to-surface -surface missiles that provide offensive capability against enemy ships. Its naval gun, mounted forward, is capable of engaging both surface and aerial targets with precision. Close-in weapon systems provide the last line of defense against missiles or fast attack craft. In addition, the ship is equipped with torpedoes and countermeasure systems that enhance its anti-submarine and self-protection roles. Another critical aspect of the BRP Antonio Luna is its command and control capability. The Combat Information Center, located deep within the ship, serves as the brain of the vessel. Here, operators monitor radar screens, sonar data, and communications channels to maintain situational awareness. The integration of advanced software allows the crew to process information rapidly and coordinate with other naval and joint forces. This makes the frigate not just a solitary warship but a node in a larger defense network. Crew life on board is also an important part of the picture. The ship carries a complement of officers, sailors, and specialists who perform tasks ranging from navigation and engineering to combat operations and logistics. Modern accommodations, while still compact, provide better living conditions compared to older naval vessels. This includes improved berthing areas, a galley for meals, and recreational spaces, all of which are necessary for maintaining morale during long deployments. Operationally, the BRP Antonio Luna, FF-151, serves multiple roles for the Philippine Navy. First and foremost, it contributes to maritime defense. By patrolling territorial waters and exclusive economic zones, it helps safeguard national sovereignty and natural resources. Given the strategic importance of the Philippines' location in Southeast Asia, maintaining capable surface combatants is essential. The frigate also supports law enforcement at sea. It can assist in anti-smuggling, anti-piracy, and counter-terrorism operations, working alongside other government agencies to maintain security. Its surveillance and communication systems allow it to coordinate these missions effectively. In addition, the ship is prepared for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief missions, which are vital for a country frequently affected by typhoons and natural disasters. With its range and endurance, BRP Antonio Luna can deliver relief supplies, medical teams, and logistical support to affected coastal areas, often when land-based infrastructure is damaged. This dual role of defense and humanitarian service highlights the versatility of the platform. Internationally, 
The BRP Antonio Luna strengthens the Philippine Navy's ability to participate in joint exercises and multilateral operations. By sailing alongside allied navies, it enhances interoperability and demonstrates the Philippines' commitment to regional security. Participation in exercises such as maritime patrols and tactical drills helps the crew maintain high standards of readiness. From a technological perspective, the ship represents a leap forward for the Philippine Navy. Its systems are digital, networked, and designed for integration into modern naval warfare. The move from legacy ships to a frigate like the BRP Antonio Luna signals progress in the Navy's modernization goals. It demonstrates an ability to handle not only coastal defense but also blue water operations that extend into the wider Pacific. Maintenance and sustainability are also key elements. Operating such an advanced vessel requires robust logistical support. The Philippine Navy has established routines for maintenance, spare parts management, and crew training to ensure the ship remains operationally ready. This aspect is often less visible but is crucial for the long-term effectiveness of the frigate. The presence of BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 at sea sends a clear message. It reflects the nation's resolve to protect its maritime interests, to contribute to peace and stability in the region, and to maintain a navy that can meet both traditional and non-traditional security challenges. In conclusion, the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is not just a vessel in the Philippine Navy. It is a symbol of modernization, sovereignty, and readiness. With its advanced design, comprehensive combat systems, and versatile mission profile, it plays a central role in ensuring the security of the nation's waters. It also stands as proof that even medium-sized navies can operate capable, modern warships that provide both defensive and humanitarian value. Thank you for watching this detailed overview of the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content on naval technology, maritime security, and defense developments.